From the bush to the beach, there's a dance craze sweeping the nation. People sort of see it as like a sort of kind of folk dance, like they don't really know what it is. It's like tap meets ballet, sort of. People don't know how huge it actually is in Australia. I'm Maddie. I'm Sam. Hi, Shauna. I'm Chloe. It's unique. It's exciting. And it's very, very serious. The competition's fierce. Some people have lost friendships because of how competitive this sport is. It's like football or soccer. You put everything into it. It's Irish dancing. People are like, well, why would you do that, you crazy fool? I just love it. It's just such a good feeling inside, such an adrenaline rush. It's, it's amazing. First, they're hoping to win at nationals. Then, our best dancers go on to compete at the Irish Dancing World Championships. My heart is pounding a million miles per hour. It's a complete roller coaster, yeah. Every competition, I always get quite nervous and freaked out. Performance. I crashed into another boy twice. Then get up on stage, you can just all fall apart. I always like to think that I'm better than everyone else. <laughs> at the 2010 Australian Nationals, only our very best dancers qualified to compete at this year's World Championships in Dublin. The Australians arrive to compete against the best of the best. And who's that? The Irish, of course. It feels so good to, to be the best in the world at something. Like you want to get higher up in the box and you want to be up in the top. How will the Australians go against the champion nation? You want to nail everything that you've sacrificed your life for, all in that couple of minutes of dancing. This is what's to come when these dancers go dancing down under.